Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it so far, those of you that watch at least. So I've made some changes on my own. For example, this is now hoofed animals. We have the sable antelope and we have the, whatever these are, Thompson gazelle, I think. Yeah, Thompson's gazelle. And then in here we have Gemsbok or Gemsbok or whatever you want to call them. Uh, we have added Springbok. No, these are Thompson's Gazelle. No, these are Springbok. We've added Springbok to the uh, African animals, herd animals exhibit. And the crocodile, all the crocodilians have been moved out here. And they now have a much fancier exhibit. So, you, for example, there's a little walkway here. And you can see underwater for the saltwater crocodiles. And then you can just keep walking along, giving a nice underwater view. I'm going to decorate here so that it's not so plain and boring. And then over here you have the gharial exhibit. Oh wait, nope, sorry, this is still saltwater crocodiles. And look, there's one right there. There's one right there. Okay, sorry. Alright, here we go. So we walk this away, and now we've got the gharials. This is the gharial exhibit, and you can see underwater there. And you just continue walking along, hippity hoppity, to the dwarf canine exhibit. And so you got an underwater view there. And then of course you go up. Uh, I don't know why this is here. I'll move that. Why are you obstruct? Oh, it's up. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just move that right there then. Fine. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, we continue if my keyboard would work. Keyboard, work. Keyboard, keyboard, why are you not working? I'm supposed to be able to use the keys to move. That's kind of weird. I think my keyboard may have just died. Alright, anyways, I'll just click and drag with the mouse since my keyboard apparently has died. Uh, so, then you have your above walkway, which lets you view, you know, walkway. Look, I made like a little pier. I put in some boats. We've got dead trees. This Each of them has a pier and boats because why not? And I tried to decorate as best I could with like trees and whatnot. I think it looks pretty nice. I might do some more work on them. We'll see. Uh, haven't done too much else. I did uh, decorate over here with the penguinary because I unlocked some new statues and things. It's so weird that my keyboard died, but okay. Actually, hold on, I have a little cord right here. Little, little USB cable. Let me just plug that little booger right in. If I can get it in the slot, that is. There we go. Any, any better? Still no better. Maybe it needs to charge. I don't know. I'm using a different keyboard than I normally do. I put a chip here, because why not? We have a polar bear thing here. And so, it, okay, so I have made some changes over here. This episode is going to be about the Arctic Animal Expansion. I figured I'd do a video on each of the different DLC expansions since I never covered them. So, you know, we're going to start with the Arctic Animals. I built some of the exhibits already. Like this one is Arctic Wolves. And we have a couple of those. This one's stretching right here, you see. Aw, look how happy it looks. Stretching, stretchy, stretchy. So yeah, we have some Arctic wolves in that pen. This pen is reindeer and dal 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 sheep. I don't know how it's pronounced, but we have our reindeer here. Hooray! We'll take closer looks at them later when I can actually like fix my whatever it's called keyboard. Where's my sheep? Okay, there's a sheep. The sheep are back here hanging out together. So yeah, we got our nice ram, our little sheeps. All right, and then, in, let's see, that's the Arctic wolves. Over here, I have not necessarily Arctic animals, but they are cold temperature animals. I have the Siberian tiger, including a white tiger, who I think is getting pretty old. Yeah, he's actually almost elderly. I've had him for quite a while, which is kind of sad. He's, he's very old. What are those scratches on your side there? Weird. And of course we have our lovely female. She's getting pretty elderly too. I'm gonna need new Siberian tigers eventually. 
And then in here we have our snow leopards. Now for the, the Siberian tiger and the snow leopard, I just saved their exhibits from my old zoo as a blueprint and just put it right in here. Cause I knew that, you know, I was proud of those exhibits and I knew that they would like them because they did in my others. So yeah, in this one we have the snow leopards. So you know, this is, this is gonna be our cold animal area. We have our seals, our penguins, Arctic wolves, the reindeer and sheep, the Siberian tiger, the snow leopard. And then I plan in this episode, we, no, come on, here comes the cat, get ready. Hi, there's the cat. All right, so anyways, I plan to add in polar bears. And that's going to be interesting because I've only done polar bears once to research them. But look at how much land require. They require 6,000, I think, you know, of land, 2,000 of water. It's pretty crazy. But, yes, yeah, so we're going to build them a huge old spot. I don't normally do polar bears because of how much land they require, but we're going to do it because I want to show off all the DLC animals. And I went ahead and built the reindeer and the arctic wolves because polar bears are going to take a lot of work. So I'm going to fix my keyboard, and then we're going to get to work making the best polar bear habitat we've ever seen. Be right back. Okay, I have fixed my keyboard. Actually, that's not true. I have replaced my the keyboard I was using with the older keyboard I had replaced it with originally. So, oh well. We are going to make our super amazing polar bear path. Our polar bear exhibit. Let's see. We're gonna do frosted ice path. Ooh, we're gonna make a nice cool place. It needs a lot of room. This around like that. This is kind of the entryway to our amazing polar bear. Actually, hold on. No, I didn't want to click, click, click. click. Okay, a line to grid. We're gonna make a little. Oh, no. There. Okay. So now we're gonna have it start here. Maybe this will be a den with like a indoor viewing. Ooh, that's a good idea. Alright, so let's see. Or it's gonna I think we're gonna have it wrap around the guest path. Because it, it's gonna require a lot of space. So we're gonna spread this through. Actually I don't really like that. have it be back here and it's gonna go on this side so we're gonna have a big viewing platform here in the middle I think or maybe let's let's try with the big viewers actually no let's use terrain because we're gonna have some mountains in there too they need a fancy fancy habitat so we have some mountains out here nice and cool get it cool polar bears cool in there. Big, 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 big kind of like a nice backdrop so you don't see all the trees and stuff. It'll look very arctic because you won't see trees. You'll just see the snowy mountains. And this forms a natural barrier at the back where the polar bears won't be able to Back here, but it should make it as steep so they can't climb down it. Right, we need to reduce the size, but let's increase the intensity. Yeah, now here we go. Make some mountain ranges, get some peaks in there. We'll make a cave for them to look at for their their den is gonna be sleeping den is going to be a cave, naturally. Right, drop the intensity down a little bit more. Alright, so see now as they're looking, they'll just, they'll see the, the mountains back there. But you can still see trees, and I don't want to see trees. I'm sure it'll be fine once I put 
put snow and stuff on top of it. So where should the sleeping cave be? Let's put it right here. Hollow it. Now, being bears, they're probably going to need a pretty big cave. Just connect these two mountain ranges together with a little strip of land, just like that. Nice. So let's raise it up a little bit more. And now let's hollow it out. the bears sleeping. So let's see. The bear's entrance is gonna be the actual entryway. It's gonna be over here. I think. And sorry if I sound a little congested. I am still a little under the weather from before. My videos are all recorded and uploaded at different times, so it's probably hard to figure out which ones are new, which ones are pre-recorded and older, and which ones are pre-recorded but more recent, all that good stuff. But it's okay. You'll probably figure it out just by realizing which ones I sound congested in and which ones I don't. For example, I'm recording this one a little bit after I did my Walking with Dinosaurs map. Map recording. The one with the fire. All the fire. I did that one earlier today. I probably still sound congested from it. So let's see, they will have a viewing window in here. But we need to widen it out because it's not wide enough. Make a nice little cave for those bears. Because yeah, see, they'll be able to look inside and be like, oh my gosh, look, I can see the bears as they sleep. That is so cool. And I'll be like, let's see this. Two-way glass. Of course, the glass needs to be on the other side. Raise it up. Okay, cool. Now we can get the terrain back. We're gonna pull this out. And just measure right up against the, the fence line. Let me, we'll fill it in the rest of the way with actual rocks. But then the bears could walk up here and like look down at the people to be like, oh my gosh, there's a bear over my head. I need to reduce this a little bit more so they can still see under there. Alright, hold on, let's do No, I don't. I'm gonna do tundra. Tundra. See what rock options we have. Let's do snowy rocks. See, now we'll cover up the fence area with, with rocks. And we're going to make this all snow, so don't worry, it'll blend in. Okay. Barriers. Uh, those are white. Okay. I'll change it to concrete. Same with over here. I'll change it to concrete. Just so I know where to put rocks right now. Like I said, this is going to be a amazing, um, awesome polar bear habitat. And really, all their, the most part of this game is doing the exhibits and making things, and, you know, I like to make things, so I want to show off my creativity. Alright, you know what? I don't want tiger, I want tundra. I'm gonna put one of, we're going to switch to some non-snowy rocks. These ones won't have snow on top. Right there. I don't 
like I'm coming through the fence if I can help it. have to put some coolers in them, otherwise it's not going to be properly snowy. Once we get some, and we'll, we'll hide a cooler up there. There's our, there's our coolers. Hide this cooler. And that should make all that snowy. Alright, let's figure out the rest. Okay, so. This is the sleepy cave. We're gonna need so much more land, though. This isn't enough. This isn't gonna be near enough. Alright, so this will all be snow. Land, snow. Oh, they need so much room. You know, we're just gonna build it this entire corner. So that's one path. That, that's the path to look at the look at the sleep cave. So that's the sleepy cave path. Now we will. Ooh, this is gonna be a bit interesting because negative impact on guests. Okay, so those are. So we can probably. Sneak this right along here. Because they shouldn't be impacted negatively by the buildings. So this will go to the sleepy cave. And this is going to wrap around the entire. This whole corner is going to be polar bear corner. And it probably still won't be enough. Alright, well, we can finish the path later. We know that that's where it goes. Let's start doing some barriers. We're gonna have to make the barriers taller, but for now, we'll see it. And we'll, we'll do viewing win windows later. Right. Okay. Let's bring all of this down. It's just going to be along the entire back wall. Needs so much space. Right. Let's see. Probably about there, I would think. So I'll take this to the wall. This is why I did went ahead and did the wolves and the reindeer on my own, is because I knew we'd be spending a long time on the polar bears. Oh, you are right, right? right. Alright. We'll pretty it up in a moment. We're just doing this to get an idea of the space we have. I deleted all my educator stuff because it seems like it's bugged. They did release a patch, so maybe it's not bugged anymore, so we'll try to do educator stuff again with this one. Okay. We are gonna need a... Oh, 
stop. I want you to level out. There. And I want you to start going down. Oh, and I want underwater viewing for my my stinking polar bears too. So we're actually about to make an underwater viewing area. Because they also need a lot of water. Alright, so how much land area is this? Incomplete. Where's the incompleteness? Ugh. Where's it incomplete? Where is it incomplete? Oh, it's incomplete right here, of course. Like I said, we'll go back and add the viewing windows afterwards, once I have everything figured out. They had like a little viewing area where they can mingle and look around and maybe reduce the length. Still too long. Oh, look at the other two. Sure, why not? Okay, now you can go back up to four. Oh, wait, why am I doing that? Let's make it curvy. Oh, look how much nicer it looks when you can actually curve it. Lovely. Right, we need to make the rest of these. Got a lot of fence to select. Ooh, so much fence. So much fence, it's almost lagging a little bit. Okay, now we raise them all up to about. How much land area is this? Land area. 30? Okay. So that should be more than enough land area. So now we gotta do some water. I'm gonna do underwater viewing right here. Get rid of the fences. This is all gonna be underwater viewing. Alright. Now we're gonna just drop the just like we did for the crocodiles and the seals and the penguins. We reduce, we drop it down how deep it is. figure this water area out, I'll go ahead and fast forward because this is going to be a lot of just tweaking and working and stuff that I don't need to marry over while I do it. Okay, well I did record building, however the video was over a half hour long and even sped up. It was pretty long so I decided, you know what, I'll just uh, show you guys and explain what I did rather than do a sped up footage because... It took quite a while, and I didn't realize it was going to take so long. So we'll start at the very beginning. Alright, so, as you go along your path, oh look, just in time for Christmas, giant Christmas tree, yay! It also lights up, but it's not dark enough to light up yet. So, first, you approach, and you see, the l these are lights as well, you'll see the glowing polar bears. You'll go down the path, and you can see on either side. Very cool. And then you, oh wait, hold on, gotta fix this. Polar bear, okay. And then you reach and you can see inside while they're sleeping and you have this little sign that says do not talk for there are bears sleeping. We have another bear light and another bear light. And over here we have some signs. One is for climate change. One is for the ozone layer. Very important informations. And you can see the bears. And if you decide to go the other way, near that's right, you're getting the first hand tour. You will walk along, have another bear sign, and you can look out and see the bears. 
And look, bears. We'll go see them. And then you go up the path. Do, do, oh, or under the path. Do, do, do. Oh, look, you can see the bears. And we got igloos because why not? And these are just fancy houses. To, these, are, these are staff houses. And then these are just decorative houses. Very, very nice, right? Yes. And then we have a little platform right here, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, another bear. I, I wish I had more polar bear uh, decorations, but I don't. Anyway, they have got some more decorative houses over here. Then, of course, you have your underwater section, which is very dark. I might need to put some underwater lights or something in there. But, look, I put in snow rocks like icebergs. See? They're like floating ice icebergs. Very, very fun. And then this is a workshop item that I got off the workshop because I decided they needed a... That's a really long ways to walk if they're tired. So now they'll have the den over here. And then have this little ice cave over here. Yeah. Anyways, let's take a look at our polar bears. I like the igloos. Anyways, so I know it's kind of dark. We'll have to wait for daylight. But yeah, we got polar bears. And they're happy. Look, we made it big enough. It's more than big enough. We'll be able to have a couple polar bear cubs. Easy peasy. Okay, we got polar bears. Dangerous fighting. Uh-oh. Oh no, they're fighting. That's no good. Alright. 11 years old. Okay, you need... How old? Wait. Uh, oh, but he's a gold one. Alright, we're going to release you into the wild. We're gonna release Mama into the wild. Okay. Now, there should be no more fighting. And, and, now we've got a, we need a we need a female. No, that is a female. We'll need a male snow leopard for her. But we'll get her a male later. But yeah. I like the igloos. They were just a random one that I found. But hey, our tiger has had offspring. Oh, look at our baby tigers. The baby tigers. Just in time for the elderly parents to need to be replaced, right? Ooh, a gold, a gold one. That's nice. Two gold ones. Yeah. Well, we have our tiger replacement now, once they grow up. Anyways, back to the polar bears. So yep, we have awesome polar bears now. Took quite a while, but we do. Hopefully they have decent babies as well. But yeah, I hope they can go swimming. I want to see them go swimming. I need to I need to still decorate underwater. I have to, I still need to do stuff underwater as well as uh, maybe put some lights down there so people can see them when they swim. Why do you have a blow welfare? Social stress. You're stressed out, but why? Oh, because there's some massive amounts of crowds, I see. Eventually, I would like to. Eventually, ooh, sorry, this new keyboard's a bit funky. That's right, this swamp guy is charged. Anyways, eventually, I would like to make a nice bison habitat that's a lot larger. You know, because why? And then we have our otters, of course. Oh, we got baby otters! Hold on, look, we got look at baby otters! We got twins! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, I didn't realize I had baby otters. Oh yeah. Polar bears. We've successfully made a polar bear exhibit. What are you doing? You're just walking around over here. You seem happy. Where's the other one? Where'd the other one go? Where are you? I don't know where the other one went. Oh well, it's there. So it's around somewhere. Who knows where? But anyway, so we haven't taken a really good look at the other animals from the Arctic DLC. So let's take a quick closer look at those. So of course you have your caribou. Sorry, the reindeer. Pretty sure they're the same thing though. 
I don't think, I don't know if I have any babies right now. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that male caribou lose their antlers during winter? So Santa's reindeer are actually females, not males. Oh, we got a baby sheep. <laughs> yeah, female reindeer keep their antlers all year long. Male reindeer lose their antlers. So all of Santa's reindeer should be female, not male. Despite all the movies that make them male. They're also not white-tailed deer, like a lot of depictions show. They are reindeer. But yeah, here's our lovely doll sheep. Or doll sheep or whatever. And our reindeer. Two of our Arctic DLC animals. And then the last Arctic DLC animal would be the wolves, who are all taking a nap, it would seem. Sleepy, sleepy. Oh, they're so tired. I don't know if I have any puppies. I don't think I have puppies yet. I should have another wolf, though, somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, there it is. Just hanging out. Oh, it's sniffing the, uh... Oh, wait, I think we do have a puppy. Hold on. We have a... Oh, look at that puppy. We have a puppy. Wait. I want to look at the puppy. Dang it. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, little baby howls. Okay, so we have one puppy. But alright, that's it for the Arctic DLC animals. Uh, next time I think I'll do Australia. And then we'll do South America and that will be all the DLCs. So I hope you enjoyed it. I really like playing this game, and as long as some of you are enjoying me making videos about it, I'll keep adding on to my zoo and recording while I do. At least for new DLC animals. Oh, I also have this fancy fountain, but I don't know if I saw that. And 